October is National Fire Prevention Month. So what do you need to do to keep you, your family, your loved ones safe in the event of a fire? It's always good to have a plan and be prepared. I recently spoke with Dave White from Home Depot all about this. Let's take a look. How much time do you think you have to get your family to safety in the event of a fire? According to the National Fire Protection Association, it is less than three minutes. October is National Fire Prevention Month, and now is the perfect time to make sure you're doing all you can to prevent a fire from even starting. From your smoke alarms to fire extinguishers to an escape plan, there are steps you should take right now to minimize that risk. Dave White from the Home Depot joins us to talk about fire safety tips to keep you and your family safe. Plus, He's sharing the latest in fire safety equipment that should be in every single home. Dave, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Are there rooms or appliances that are more likely to be a potential fire hazard in our homes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's some key areas you really need to pay attention to. Of course, the obvious ones, places like your kitchen, you know, the one of the most type, common types of fires are grease fires and kitchen fires. But think about this right now, this time of year particularly, people are starting to pull out their space heaters. You know, the, the weather's getting cooler. Um, you need to make sure that everyone knows how to use those properly and safely read the instructions. Fireplaces uh, and open flame, even candles, uh, are obviously a, a key source for fire, especially if you have young children. They need to know how to behave and be safe around those open flame sources. One thing I think a lot of people aren't aware of is that you need to pay particular attention to your laundry room and specifically your dryer. Um, you know, the dryer, you has the, the filter, right, or the, that, that gets all that dryer lint. Well, some of the lint actually gets past that filter, even if you're diligent about cleaning it, and can start to clog that the, the ductwork that goes outside to vents the heat from the dryer to your exterior. Um, if that builds up enough, you know, and that lint is really, really flammable, it can actually be a, a, a common source for fires. Um, easy solution, you inspect that and clean it out on a regular basis. We have everything you need uh, to help you do that from vacuum attachments to brushes. Um, just got to pay attention to it. Yeah, you know, I didn't realize that was something you could do on your own, actually. Oh, yeah. So what items should be in everyone's homes right now, and what's a good rule when it comes to replacing them? So obviously with Fire Prevention Month, this is a great time to be aware, and, and all month long at the Home Depot, we're helping our customers keep their homes and their families safe uh, by offering up to 25% off on select fire safety essentials. And when I say essential, uh, I mean things like smoke detectors, uh, which which is, is Number one, uh, you have to have working smoke detectors, at least one on each level of your home, not outside each of your, your sleeping areas and areas like we just talked about, kitchens and laundry rooms, workshops, basements, even in your attic. Um, and you may not know this, but uh, after about 10 years, smoke detectors lose their effectiveness. The sensors don't work like they should. So uh, the rule of thumb is to get rid of them after 10 years and replace them or toss at 10, then start again. Um, and the good news is that the technology's come a long way and, and Kitta has a line of 10-year worry-free smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Um, and by worry-free, I mean they've got a built-in lithium battery that lasts 10 years. You'll never have to worry about remembering to replace the battery. Um, you're not gonna get those annoying, you know, two in the morning, chirps that say, oh, you forgot to change the battery. It lasts the full 10 years. You will then get an alert that says it's time to replace the whole unit. Um, and again, you want to have these in all the right places around your home. And it's a, also a good idea to test them, you know, at least once or twice a year, the test button on each one of them, just to make sure everything's working properly. Uh, next is fire extinguishers, which are obviously important, again, to have uh, throughout the home, especially, you know, at least have one on each level and then uh, near your kitchen, uh, workshops, garages, places like that. Um, fires are, are, are designated uh, at, in different ratings, A, B, or C. A is uh, typical kind of building materials, uh, you know, wood, plastic, you know, um, uh, cardboard. B is liquid, which could be a grease fire or it could be, you know, um, like fuel. Uh, and then C is electrical fire. So there are specific fire extinguishers for places like your kitchen um, th that, that will address specific types of fires. Uh, but they're also general use ones. And Kitta has a whole lineup here. I recommend getting some, getting the general A, if they're rated A, B, and C, and it's very clearly marked on the packaging. Uh, and again, have these throughout the home in places A, where knows uh, how to access them and 
item again, like in a closet behind a bunch of stuff. They've got to be easily accessible. Um, and once you get them in the home, uh, every now and then just take a look at the gauge or the meter on there to make sure that they're fully charged. If the arrow's in the green, you're good. If it goes into the red, that means they're not charged fully and you need to, to replace those. And what can our viewers and families do to prepare for a possible fire? So, so the first thing is prevention. Fire Prevention Month is the key, right? So again, be safe, have some rules and safety rules around uh, you know, appliances and around uh, fireplaces and open flames and that kind of thing. But then have an escape plan uh, and practice it. Do some fire drills uh, you know, every year to, to, to where everyone knows the different escape routes and then um, also where to meet up after we get out of the house so that you can be sure that the entire family has escaped and is, is safe. And where can we get more information? So pretty easy. Come on into one of our stores, talk to one of our Home Depot associates, or go online to homedepot.com slash fire safety event. You'll get all this information, a ton of extra safety information, and you'll see all the, all the great savings throughout uh, the month of October. And don't forget, toss it 10, then start again. Well, thank you so much, Dave White, for joining us today. Really appreciate your time during National Fire Prevention Month and keeping us and our families and our homes safe. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. so much.